Welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, we have an exciting project lined up. We'll be modeling a snub cube, a fascinating geometric shape with intricate features. So let's dive right in. Wikipedia informs us that in geometry, the snub cube or snub cuboctahedron is an Archimedean solid with 38 faces six squares and 32 equilateral triangles. It has 60 edges and 24 vertices. Let's have a closer look at the body. I'll stop this animation. And here is the base body. So we see this square here, slightly tilted. And around there, we, we can recognize uh, another square with these edges. And connected to that square are those triangles here. All of them are equilateral, which means all three sides are of equal length. And we can see there is one if we continue this line through our square, that center point lies on that line and connects to that line. Then we can see that this vertex lines up vertically with that one, which will be one edge or one vertex of that next square which lies on top here and the same one goes for this vertex which lines up with that one let's um, move that a little here there okay and with that information we have sufficient information to create a fully defined sketch Okay, so I'll start from scratch in a new empty part studio. So here I am in an empty part studio. I start a sketch on the top plane. Press N for a normal view to that. P to hide all planes. S for that center point rectangle. Place the origin and the origin. Press Alt to make that a square and give that a dimension of 88. Next, I will take the this rectangle, I'll take it from here, a lined rectangle, start somewhere here, um, zoom in with E, make those equal length go to l and q to um well first i'll switch it around like this this over here and l q for construction geometry connect those two vert vertices continue with here to midpoint here, press I to make those two vertices coincident. Then continue with the line command. Connect that here. I'll make that at an angle and then we'll straighten things out. And go down here. Now this edge is vertical. And with B, I make a parallel collinear relationship here. Then with the line command again, I start from here, somewhere here, somewhere over there. E, make those two of equal length. And V for a vertical constraint between that 
vertex and that one. Everything's fully constrained with only that one dimension. I exit that and go into the surface command fill. Take those four edges. Keep that sketch visible, sketch number one. And just move that face upwards 44, because we had those 88. And I want to make that cube, or that will be one side of that cube. All right, so next I want to make a pattern of this square. I need um, axis for that. I will create some with the intersection curve command and take the top plane and the front plane. Then the circular pattern of my part here with that axis four times, okay. And then I'll need the axis going up aligned with the Z axis. So again, intersection curve, right plane and no, right plane and front plane. And then another circular pattern of that face and that one around that axis with 90 degrees and two times. There it is, we got six surface bodies. Great. Hide that plane. Hide those two curves here. And let's uh, have a normal view to the top plane. So we had indicated in this sketch those edges of the triangle in the 2D sketch. And so that has to line up with this vertex. So we will, yeah, bridge from that vertex to that one and then continue to that one. So the command is the bridging curve with the match position option. So take that till here. Do that again from here to there. Let's check. Top view. There it is. Everything's lines lined up. Let's continue with that um, edge command with that vertex to this one and that vertex back to the, that square and one more curve from that vertex over here. All right, we can hide sketch number one and fill out um, with these three vertices as a new body. I'll assign a distinctive appearance to that Maybe that one. Continue with this, this, and that one as a new body. And give that that color. And third time here, those three new surface body. with a radic appearance. And now 
let's show our curves again. Let's make a circular pattern of those three. One, two, three. That axis, four times, perfect. There it is. And then let's rotate that around this axis, all those triangles, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Axis is it that one. Hide those curves. Perfect. And voila, our snub cube model is complete. Look at the intricate details and the fascinating symmetry it possesses. Modeling complex geometric shapes like the snub cube allows us to explore the beauty of mathematics and geometry. It's a perfect way to exercise our CAD skills and unleash our creativity. Maybe you want to project, project those edges on a sphere, so I'll show you that. I start a sketch on the top plane, press N again, S, circle, pull that out, give that dimension 122, start the line command, take that down here, make that coincident with the origin. Cut away that side of it, exit that sketch, revolve, surface revolve, that edge around that one. Um, go to the project curve command here and hide our sphere to window select all edges. Go to normal to target and then um, take our surface body of that sphere, accept that and there you have the projection of all curves to the sphere. Thank you for joining me today as we model the snub cube using Onshape. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it inspiring. Stay tuned for more exciting CAD projects in my future videos. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Until next time, happy modeling.